Hi, um, some of you have written in to ask why I don't ever do uh, chats or, or feedback on comments. Well, um, I don't make videos, that's why. Uh, but I'm game. Um, you know, I'll answer some of your queries if you want. So, let's do a few. Um, bring this one up here. Uh, Pancetta asks, Ed, do you eat shot fin soup? Well, that's a delightfully pointless question. Thank you, Pancetta. Uh, Joel says, Ed, when will you stop reviewing things? No one's interested, you, you stupid fat bastard. Well, I prefer the term people of size, Joel. All right. Uh, Keith, who feels the need to tell me he's 27, asks, Ed, have you seen Star Trek Picard? Well, actually, I have, Keith. Um, there's a story about that. I mean, you're looking at the guy who was in the very first test audience for that show. A Japanese audience company slammed an invitation into my inbox, Keith. First cut of the ten episodes had just been delivered. CBS shipped them to the preview theatre under the code name Hiroshima Bomb. Yeah. I replied to say I'd be in the test audience. 140 others did the same. They were really quick to respond. The The deal was done in 12 minutes. Didn't see Alex Kurtzman for about a half hour. He's tall. A six footer. You know how you can tell, Keith? I'm looking from the glasses to the ankles. What we didn't know was that our preview was so secret... No press had been invited. Very first episode, Keith or Patrick Stewart Holmes interview. He's got a space dog, Irish Romulan servants. The audience huddled together, you know, they held hands. It was sort of like a support group. The idea was when there were sweary dialogue or dystopian cliches or or canon violations, you know, we'd we'd vent collectively. We, we'd start pounding and hollering, and, and, and sometimes the bad stuff would go away. Sometimes it wouldn't go away. Sometimes you'd, you'd look away from the screen, and Kurtzman would look right back at you, right into your eyes. And the thing about Kurtzman is he's got, lifeless eyes black eyes like a doll's eyes when he stares at you he doesn't even seem to be living till he sees you sitting in your own shit and piss desolate and those black eyes oh they roll over white and you can hear that terrible high pitched screaming everyone in the preview theatre is doing it and despite all your pounding and all your hollering, those new episodes, Keith, they just keep on coming and they rip you to pieces. You know, by the end of that first episode, we'd lost 50 men and women. And as it went on, well, the losses, they just, they just piled up. They averaged about six an hour. Thursday morning, Keith, I saw a friend of mine, Joseph Hester Kefalus. Great guy, lifelong Trekkie, Londoner, YouTuber. I thought he was asleep. I reached over to wake him. Well, he'd flopped over. Like a sack of tripe, he'd been cut down by what he'd seen. I had no feeling at all in the genitals. I was completely dead below the waist. At noon on the third day, a man from CBS swung by. He, uh, he spoke to Kurtzman. He he was a young man, um, even younger than you, Keith, I think. And he, 
he saw how the audience were reacting and he suggested, you know, maybe we should stop at episode seven, you know, go home with Riker and Troy at the forefront of our minds. You know, that was the time I was the most frightened. Waiting for my turn to leave. I'll never attend a preview screening again. So, 140 men and women went to the Picard preview. 37 came out. The show took the rest. October the 8th, 2019. Anyway, we uh, handed in our scorecards. <laughs> 